Hello everybody, it's Anthony here and I recently made my own wood turning carbide tip tool and I wanted to go to give you a review I've been using it for about three weeks now and if you want to make your own there's there's all kinds of videos on how to make wood turning carbide tip tools and it's actually pretty easy so what I did was I used a 3 8 inch by 36 inch square stock I bought from Home Depot and I can get a couple of tools out of that and that was about six or seven bucks so that was pretty exciting and then used some maple and some teak wood just glued it up and a stainless collar but you can also use brass or copper and what I wanted to really talk about was the 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 use of it and so the last couple of weeks uh, I've been using these carbide tips that I've gotten from the machine shop or from the uh, from a local supply that does machine turning and let me go ahead and show those to you real quick okay so that's that's them right there let me put this one down and let me show you this one so I was cutting with this one and there's the side profile and I was cutting I was cutting with this one for about two weeks and noticed that my shaft was getting real warm to the touch I mean it was like almost hot and I'm like that's that's a lot of friction and it just didn't seem to be cutting as good as my traditional tools and I'm like well what's all the hype about these carbide tip tools and then so I got to look in and there's actually a lip on here and it's called a chip breaker so I went to a carbide tip manufacturer and they gave me this one and I was like alright this will this will be even better because this these are non-ferrous uh, material and this was for metal and so I was like oh this will work even better you know and that's it's see it's got this chip breaker on there as well and I put this on my tool and it was like I might as well dent wood before it even cuts and what it is is this is actually rounded and so what I did was went to woodcraft and I said let me see one of those uh, easy wood tool tips and what it is is this is the easy wood tools CI3 and it actually comes with the screw so what it is is it looks like they ground the tip here looks like they ground it flat so it had a good sharp cutting edge you can see the side profile is a lot thinner than than these guys here and so what it looks like they've done is actually ground this flat to give you that nice sharp edge and as soon as I put that on oh my goodness it was like night and day I mean it was just it was so smooth and fluid and it just it cut so well I was I was like alright this is where this is where the carbide tips come in so I just wanted to give you all a review on the tips and what the reason why I was excited about these tips is because these were only two dollars and fifty cents up to five dollars whereas this one is $16.99 and so I was just trying to save some money I went with this this tip here not realizing that I needed a sharper edge that the easy wood tools carbide tip gives for you the only thing that on the if you decide to make your own tool with a which I highly su suggest that you do because it was easy and it's fun and you'll learn a little bit about metalworking and and grinding and and tapping is that you have to countersink once you tapped your hole for the screw you have to countersink a hole a little bit bigger than the screw itself because there's a the screw has a flange that goes below the cutter and so you have to be able to seat that to tighten up the tip alright the CI3 round carbide cutter takes a uh, 4-40 NC tap which I bought from Lowe's and it, it actually came with a drill bit so that was pretty exciting 
And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to post them below. And thanks for watching.